Please like and subscribe our channel for trending news. Kellyanne Conway found to have violated Hatch Act twice. An independent government investigative agency said on Tuesday that senior counselor to the president Kellyanne Conway twice violated a federal law prohibiting government employees from engaging in political activities. The Office of Special Counsel OSC, which is in not affiliated with special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation, announced Tuesday that Conway violated the Hatch Act in two television interviews. In the first interview, Conway advocated against one Senate candidate and gave an implied endorsement of another candidate, the OSC said in a statement following its investigation. In the second interview, she advocated for the defeat of one Senate candidate and the election of another candidate. The interviews occurred last November and December when President Donald Trump came out in support of Judge Roy Moore in Alabama's U.S. Senate special election. Conway appeared in her official capacity as counselor to the president on both Fox and Friends and CNN's New Day and discussed why voters should support more over his Democratic opponent Doug Jones, the OSC said. Ms. Conway's statements during the Fox and Friends and New Day interviews impermissibly mixed official government business with political views about candidates in the Alabama special election for U.S. Senate, according to the OSC. Doug Jones in Alabama, folks don't be fooled, Conway said during her Fox and Friends interview. He'll be a vote against tax cuts. He's weak on crime, weak on borders. He's strong on raising your taxes. He's terrible for property owners. And Doug Jones is a doctrinaire liberal, which is why he's not saying anything and why the media are trying to boost him. The OSC says it has referred its report to President Trump, but the White House quickly disputed the OSC finding, making it unlikely Conway will face any serious discipline. Kellyanne Conway did not advocate for or against the election of any particular candidate. She simply expressed the president's obvious position that he have people in the House and Senate who support his agenda, Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley said in a statement. In fact, Kellyanne's statements actually show her intention and desire to comply with the Hatch Act as she twice declined to respond to the host's specific invitation to encourage Alabamans to vote for the Republican. Rev. Elijah Cummings, the top Democrat on the House Oversight Committee, wants the president to take disciplinary action against Conway. This is not the first 